Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to easily create this type of design in Figma. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the first video in a long series that will be dedicated to Figma design, no-code tools, freelancing, and how I get clients as a designer and more. But for now, let's get back to the topic of the video. It will be divided into two parts. Part 1, the image search and clipping phase. I search for my images on Pinterest or Freepik, and I clip them on Photop. And in part two, we will bring the design to life, which is for me the easiest part. So let's jump into the video. To get started, I'm going to head over to Pinterest and search for Nike sneakers, like in our example. We'll need to find a sneaker that fits the design we want to have, so we'll need to look for something that's visually appealing. Um, it will certainly take a little time, but we... All right, uh, I found it. Now we need to download our image and import it into Photopea. I'm going to cut out the image by going to Select and then Remove BG. And voila, magic happens! All I have left to do is download my image as a PNG and import it into Figma. However, to stay within the framework of our current design, I'll stick with the same shoe model I initially used to avoid having to completely readjust the design to new colors. Welcome to the second part of this tutorial. Bring your design to life. In this part, you will simply replicate what I do in Figma software. Before we begin, I would like to point out that the link to this design can be found in the video description. I'm going to create a rectangle frame in Figma and give it a blue color and a corner radius of 64. I'll make the borders smoother by adjusting the corner smooth value to 100%. I'm going to create a circle with a dimension of 928 by 928 and center it within the rectangle frame I created. I'll apply a lighter blue color than the previous one and a layer blur effect to create a light effect. Now I'm importing the sections from the previous design, the nav bar, and the other sections that you can find in the Figma design link in the description or that you could create yourself for practice. Now I'm adjusting the colors to match the pairs of shoes I have available and adding the appropriate descriptions. We've reached the end of this tutorial. In the next episode, I'll show you how to do the animation approximately in Figma with the prototype, and in other tutorials, how to do it with Rive and insert it into a real website with no-code tools. So see you next time.